making this deal. So we're in a really harsh environment. And it's a constant challenge to, to keep the rust at bay. Yeah, for, for me, as I, as I drive to work, uh, driving under the bridge, under the arch of the bridge, uh, I look up and, and think, wow, this is, this is huge. Uh, it is 53,000 tonnes of steel. Uh, that's the same as one third of all the bridge steel in the whole state. I, I always wonder how they how they build the bridge. It's uh, uh, it, with the technology they had at the time. Uh, they designed it so well, even by today's standard with the with the traffic lighting. It's, it's, there's plenty of capacity in the bridge. Yeah, there's an urban myth that we paint the bridge from one end to the other and then go back again. That's not entirely the the reality. Uh, in, in practice, we, we tend to leapfrog all over the bridge to chase areas that need uh, maintenance painting the, the, the most. To, to paint the whole bridge in one coat, we, we, we work on about 25 years paint cycles to paint the bridge. Uh, we have a staff of 100 workers, um, half of those are painters, uh, and, and with that sort of resourcing, we, we, you know, that, that's a realistic time frame, paint. to paint the bridge once in 25 years on our bridge. Uh, working at Harbour Bridge, it, it's a tough gig. Uh, if something goes wrong, people know. Uh, a lot of people know, especially if they're stuck in a traffic jam. So that sort of pressure cooker environment keeps you sharp, keeps you focused, and it encourages innovation, uh, which is a good thing. On the South Approach project, uh, we, we have the, the pleasure of introducing uh, the two new recruits. Uh, they're called Bill and Ben. They're our robot friends. Uh, they're sandblasting robots. Their job is to sandblast all the old paint off the bridge. They're a world first, uh, and we've won the Engineers Australia Awards for it. Uh, they, uh, they were a concept of roads and maritime services, as we teamed up with the University of Technology in Sydney. What is often the case uh, with innovations is that we identify a need. Uh, usually we've got no idea how to, how to fill the need, uh, and uh, create something that we had never previously imagined, such as the, the robotic sandblast. any given day something can go wrong. If your long term plane gets thrown out the window, we just pick up the pieces and start again. Uh, good engineers, they, they always need a plan B and a, and a C and a D and an E. It's just a matter of put the blinkers on, knuckle down, roll up the sleeves, uh, pull your resources together and get on the job to fix it. Nothing else to do. Well, my motivation for waking up in the morning and coming to work is set it behind me. It's the largest steel arch bridge in the world. It's, uh, you know, it's an engineering icon. It's, it's part of our life. It's part of our life as Sydney Siders. Uh, we love it. We, we, we want it to be there forever. Uh, and my motivation is to come to work each day and do my best to, to take good care of it and ensure that it's here for generations to come.